Right, let's quickly make our ring chancy headband. So we'll be using our foam. This is the foam I'm using, if you can see. Those flat foam. So I'll be needing three pieces of the foam. And the measurements I use, if you have fiber, you can use fiber. But I don't have fiber. And I can also use my foam and to give me what I want. So I cut 30 inches. I still trim it. 31 was much. So it cost 30 inches by 8 by eight so you cut three 30 inches by eight inches hope you can see cut three pieces of the foam then you plug your glue gum and you fold it into two then you gum it down if you don't have a glue gum you can use your old gum but those things are expensive now no problem you can use a little one thread to do it if you have a higher foam that is higher than this you can use that i don't have a higher foam and i need it to come out well that is why i'm doing this okay so anyone that works for you is fine but this is how i made mine so i'll be using the hot glue gun to gum this two together like this i'll do it for the three um foam so it will make the foam to be thicker do you understand so i'm just going to apply it i'll manage it to small small if you see and see the way i'm doing it very small something and it will stay so long it is hot it will stay very well so i will just do it all through 43 of them i'll be doing it for the three okay so i'm almost true yeah so this is it you can see the second and the third one so you can use any material the material i use is shimmer those shiny material so for your job so this is the material it's called shimmer okay so i'm using 9 by 30. you can cut 9 by 30. you can reduce it you can increase it there is no standard measurement when it comes to headband so long you'll be putting something at the back so i'm having 31 i'm still going to trim it so just use 30 by 9 cut three pieces of this fold it into two and you sew straight down and you join your foam you know how we do it now so these three pieces now fold the wrong side the right side facing each other facing each other and i'll sew down then i'll add my foam on top just to stitch your foam on top then you turn out as seam so, it's just going to be a short video just turn out the three forms so what i did was close the a uh, fabric i join the fabric together so straight down add my foam on top and i'm turning it out now so we are going to turn it out now and this is how it's going to look like So this is it hope you can see one the second one and this is the third one so i will bring them together like this i'll bring the mouth together like this place their tip together and i'll take it to my sewing machine and just sew it down so once i sew it down look for somebody to hold it for me then i'll fold it into two you see that fold it into two to be smooth so is that folding into two that will give you that sweet effect then you braid remember i folded it into two and i braid trust me you will love the effects it's going to come out it's not as if i just started braiding i just like when you fold something into two now here so that that smooth part i'll make sure the smoother part is the part facing up that's where the logic comes hope you can see look at, look at what i'm doing fold it into two and i braid I fold it into two and i braid hope you can see that fold it into two and i braid so that smoother part should be the part up the smoother part should be the part up okay and that's where the beauty will come out from if you do this whether you use foam this will come out fine so you see it's just like you, you use your fiber to feel it it is smooth and it is beautiful so you braid it till you get to the end okay you braid it till it gets to the end so I'm just trying to arrange it with my hand and make everything look balanced. So this is how it's going to look like.
this is going to look like so i'm going to bring my scissors now see it's smooth hope you can see very smooth and fine i'll bring my scissors now cut the tip because i want to join the tip now and i want everything to be balanced so i'll just remove small foam like that like that now remove small foam from the three mouths like that then i will join it together you have to join it together i will join it together Turn it together and I'll quickly sew it so that it's hold that one in place. So this is how it's going to look like. Just um, for this uh, band, the elastic it was too long. I knew it would be too long. My girl that cut it. That's how to reduce it. So I use elastic of four inches. Elastic of four inches. Why the fabric was six? I just cut six by six, and I folded it just to turn it out. So the fabric is six by six, and the elastic is four. So just turn it out. Then you sew that part. Hmm? Turn it out. Then you sew that part. Now we are going to be attaching the elastic to. We are going to be attaching the elastic to the braided head branch. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'll just place it like this, then fold it together. Like you are using the braided headband tip to wrap the elastic tip. Okay? You are using it to wrap the elastic tip. Then you sew on top. So that when you open it, it will cover the sewed parts. Now just watch what I'm saying. So you see that it has covered it. It has covered that part. So you can also use a needle and try to sew it for neat finishing. So let's do the other part. So this part look more thicker. I can't fold it. Even if I fold it, it will be too strong. It will be too hard for my machine to go through. Hope you can see. I don't know. It's very hard. I can't do that. So I'll just sew it straight. I try to fold it, but it's too hard for me. So just finish up the way you know how to finish best. Okay, so I'll just sew it straight. Then I'll still fold it because I need to cover that sewing part. I don't want to see that sewing part. You know, you see that? So I'll use my needle and try to, to cover that part. I use my needle and try to cover that part. I don't want those parts to show. Now, my needle and thread is set. So I'm going to sew that part down. And our head pad is ready, ready. Ah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> so beautiful. No, I'm not a boat lover, but I just have to now, you know. As a marketer, you have to wear and showcase your products. You don't have to like it. Yes. You don't have to like it. Someone is waiting for you to just wear that thing and view. They will hold that. Hmm? So you don't have to like, like it before you wear it. So you just have to wear it and showcase your products. So I'm trying to tack it very well. You can see that I cut it off. Good. So it is ready. Hey, <laughs> Arujo, come and wear. Come and wear this headband and do shakara, shakara Arujo. Now, just tell me, is this headband not beautiful? I don't like big big thing. I don't like. Is it not fine? Hey, I go and make your own job and model it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see yourself. All right. Bye.